Humans, what have you learned? Rampage. Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the new patch on my Magicka Nebit again, but this time with a 3 proc gang setup. With two new sets, the first one is called Tarnished Nightmare, drops in one of the new dungeons. When you deal critical damage to the enemy, glass shards burst 8 meters around them, so it's an AoE, dealing 5.8k physical damage in the burst and applying even the sanded status effect, 8 seconds cooldown. If you compare this proc set to Kalurion, has a higher tooltip, slightly more cooldown, but it has no proc delay. Kaloon has a 1 second delay, like the most proc sets. This one has 0 seconds delay. It's similar to Ashen Group, instant proc damage. There is no way you can avoid this damage. Second new set is the monster set called Anthemius Construct. Attacking an enemy with a fully charged heavy attack, it's important it needs to be a fully charged heavy attack, not a medium attack. Throws an axe at your enemy and dealing 8k physical damage and reducing even their armor by 1.8k. This effect critical once every 10 seconds and the damage and the armor reduction scales of your higher weapon and spare damage. The axe drops to the ground after traveling to your target for 5 seconds. If you touch the axe, you even reduce the cooldown by 5 seconds. If you do it correctly, it only has a 5 seconds cooldown and look at the tooltip, it's insane. It deals around 5, 4 to 5k damage in PvP. I need to say, it's a little bit uncomfortable to play with because you always have to fully charge heavy attack, right? And the proc has a 1 second delay, which is not a big deal. It usually hits, let's say, 80 to 90% of the time. But if you prefer an instant proc without delay, like Tarnished and Ash Grip, Go with Marzalog like I did my previous gank build and Marzalog only needs a medium attack and doesn't need to be a fully charged heavy attack. But the tooltip is way way less than Anthemir, hits around 1k, 1.5k. Second set Ashen Group like I used in my previous gank build. When you do martial media damage you breath fire to all enemies in front of you for 4k. The tooltip is way less than Tarnished but has only 4 seconds cooldown, one of my favorite proc sets. Similar to Tarnished, no proc delay. If you do it correctly, your enemy will melt. And all 3 proc sets by the way can crit. That's why I'm using the Shadow Mundus for more crit damage. Backbar, just the random restoration stuff. In this case, I'm using a Potentate's Resto for the 3% damage reduction against enemy players. Armor types, Tarnished is a medium armor set. Better choice would be a full light armor setup. But I already had Ash Whip on the jury, so 5 medium and the monster set in 2 light. Best would be of course full divines, but I'm out of stones. Full max magical glyphs of course. Full infused on the jury. Weapon and spell damage. Bloodthirsty would also be possible. I still prefer infuse for the extra healing. Then 2 maces will important for the extra penetration. Neon Sharp, Flame Poison Chant and Backbar Restoration stuff in defending with the Berserker glyph. Quick look on the skills, nothing has changed here. Karma Hunter still slotted just for minor berserk, 5% extra damage. To gain minor berserk you need to flank the enemy and you need to crit it. Then Sepper Sense, mainly slotted for Magicka Flood, this passive here. 8% extra max Magicka, but I also use it if someone wants to roll dodge out after my combination at slow life. Then you can basically AoE execute with Sepper Sense, which is undodgeable. Still concede weapon even after big nerf, needs an insane amount of damage, gives us minor expedition and gets an extra damage boost if you leave sneak invisibility another 10% more damage. Mercer's Resolve, the powerful bow proc, which also gives passively 10% extra crit damage, just slotted, thanks to Hammerage. Shadow Disguise, our cloak ability, Incap, still as ultimate, they slightly buff Incap. The slightly increased duration, 20% damage boost from 8 to 12 seconds if you use this ability with 100, in this case 126 ultimate, and the tool to build also get increased. Very nice. Backbar shoot offering is burst here, 
Race Against Time for the Minor Force 10% crit damage and Major Expedition 30% movement speed, Rapid Regeneration as Healing Over Time ability, Siphoning Attacks, they change this one, it costs no health and gives passively Magicka and Stamina every 1 second, really nice, and also heals you for 1.3k health when you did damage. On top, if you're out of sustain, simply spam this thing and you get 2.6k magic and stamina immediately back. Shadow image as defensive skill, sometimes I use it just to quickly escape a dangerous situation. Back bar, the defensive ultimate soul tether, you have many options here. I really like soul tether if you have multiple tiles in front of you, you can basically semi bomb them. Alternative use the resto ultimate, light like champion, as so shit button if you're really under pressure. Or even barrier, just slotted for the extra magicka recovery. Thanks to Magicat, you will gain then 10% extra magic recovery on your back bar. Ray stun for the extra weapon spell damage and max magic stamina. Flame resistance, you know it helps as a vampire. Make sure to be a vampire. Stage 2 is enough for the extra 300 weapon spell damage. Thanks to Strike from the Shadows. When you leave Sneak Invisibility or Mist Form, your weapon and spell damage is increased by 300 for 6 seconds. Gives us a nice damage boost. Mundus to Shadow Mundus for the extra 14% crit damage with full divines would be even 17% crit damage. Gas the eyeball as buff for the extra magicka and magicka recovery. Add your points of course everything into magicka it's a full gank build. Potions and like the detection potions. Really effective against enemy night blades. We don't need the spell power potions. We already have access to major prophecy the 12% crit rate. Thanks to shadow disguise. CPs. Then the aim, mastered arms, backstabber and wrathful strikes. If you prefer more crit damage use fighting finesse instead of wrathful strikes. And red CPs, rejuvenation. Bastion, Slippery and Celerity. Bastion also increases our damage by 15% against shielded targets. So really effective against for example Magicka Sorcerers. Rotation, people of yourself for race against time. And make sure to always be in height before you gank with Shadow Disguise. Then a fully charged heavy attack, incap into concealed weapon spans. If your bow proc is up, Use your ball proc in between. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.